Good morning. Today we are about to go on a volcano trek. More specifically, one of the ones up there. So we're going to trek up one of them and to be able to see its twin, brother, sister. Eh? Erupting. Erupting at night. So we're going to trek up the volcano, sleep on the volcano and then come back down. Um, not too sure what to expect apart from the fact that it's going to be a bit difficult. Maybe but... a little bit cold as well. So we've got double layers on. Um, we're going to be provided with hats and coats as well by the company that we're going with. Uh, so hopefully we'll be nice and cosy tonight when we sleep in the volcano. All right, let's get it up. Wish us luck. Bye. So we're getting our hiking gear ready, we've got some jackets, um, a lunch, an extra poncho, got the staff like Gandalf, and we can see a lovely mountain view. Our guide showed us the route we would take and we set off on the trek. Only just a short way into our trek. Yeah. It's not too bad at the moment. Ah, it's absolutely going, uh, beautiful going. scenery. You can tell it's a volcano by the ground. A little bit slippery. How are you getting on? How are we all feeling? Still alive? Ah, should be. Excellent. <laughs> Sounding excellent, yeah. It's nearly lunchtime. We're kind of dying a little bit. The altitude, you can definitely feel it now. How are we getting on? Good, Gemma? Gemma! Jordan, show me go! So we stopped off for lunch. We're gonna open up this green bag. Time's over, we feel quite refreshed, but we're, I don't know if I'm ready for the next bit. It's been really tight all the way up here, so hopefully it has. I've been so out of breath, it's like one of the hardest things I've done, I think. Sticks are the one though. Yeah. Not too sure what the rest of the day has in store for climbing. I know there's one point where we're going to go around the mountain, which should be a little bit nicer. But Moses, listo? Many stops, we need it. It's getting really difficult now. We are about 200 meters from the bit where it kind of plateaus and we should be able to walk straight. We are well above the clouds and some of the other mountains are absolutely stunning, if not completely exhausting. Gemma. <laughs> You're dead, right? Yeah. So the landscape has changed. We've kind of passed the tree line and the steep part. And now we're on like the relatively flat ground. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot less tiring and definitely much more of what I imagined the volcano to be like. I'm not too sure how long we're walking on here for, but I think we're through the difficult part for now anyway. That's beautiful, look at the view. This is our first view of the volcano that we're going to see erupting. We've got five minutes until we reach our base camp, I think, I hope. Oh. Uh. So we finally made it to base camp. The volcano behind us. Beautiful setting. It's the crew, we made it. <laughs> From our viewpoint high up at 3,700 feet, we could see and hear the volcano erupting. We had trekked 10 kilometers for five hours to see Volcano Fuego. Oh, Holy shit! Oh my god!
Hey, this is our accommodation for the evening. Uh, or the night. Fancy. It's a pre-existing structure. Kind of like some curved metal dome tent, which is great because we've Almost seen like some other yacht. some other groups, their tents kind of just get put up and down, which is fine. But it's got the camp bed, a sleeping bag, extra, um, extra blankets. Hopefully we won't need them. It's actually kind of warm in here. Yeah, um, and tomorrow we're getting up at 4am to go up the mountain to see the sunrise. Oh my god, oh my I, just god heard I just heard the eruption again. It's crazy. Like, it again, yeah. We're going to see the sunset here and then the sunrise on the other side of the volcano. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's... It was super, super tough to get up here. I really thought Dead. I was going to die. Like my lungs were not taking in as much oxygen as I would have liked them to. Yeah, um, so we're at about 3,500 something meters. I can but... hear it erupting. Yeah, so it's super exhausting, but it was like five, six hours of trekking. Um, that was kind of it. Five and a half. But yeah, I think it's totally worth it. So we'll see what uh, the sunset has in store and what dinner has in store and what 4am has in store. As the sun set, the view became even more stunning, and the volcano even more visibly active. Red lava spitting out the top, with rocks tumbling down the sides. The temperature dropped very fast, so we huddled by the fire and enjoyed our evening meal. It's dark now, so it's hard to see. But we got our dinner, some pasta, chicken and veg, just what we need. Some vino, and the volcano behind us providing us a spectacular evening show. We just woke up after sleeping in our little tent on the edge of the cliff near the volcano. Bloody cold. It I was cold shaking and literally so much. all I dreamt about was volcanoes and trying to summit a mountain. Um, we didn't actually end up going up to the top of the mountain this morning. We all woke up at four o'clock in the morning and then the cloud was just covering the mountain completely. So we had to make the decision of whether we went up there or not. Uh, three of the group went up there and they've just got back down and they said that it was just clouds. They didn't see any view. So it's unfortunate, but what we saw last night was absolutely amazing. Mm. Like sitting there with the campfire and watching the volcano erupt, like it was stunning. Yeah, in here you could hear it all night just yeah. popping off and exploding. There were some absolutely huge ones. Like, so, I mean, I was I was too cold to get out and go and look, but <laughs> it was amazing what we saw. It was absolutely spectacular to be able to see it clearly because we've heard that yeah. people have come here um, and you can't see things. I mean, the clouds are, are lifting now. You, you can kind of see it. Sometimes you can't see it. So we were really lucky to have a really clear evening and part of the night to be able to yeah. see what we did see. To be able um, to see the lava coming up as well in the night sky, it was stunning. Uh, now we're just waiting for breakfast, whatever that may be, some oats or something, uh, and then we're heading back down. I uh, can't wait, I can't wait to get to bed. <laughs> We headed back down in about two hours and finished our time in Guatemala by resting at Lake Atalan, just a few hours from Antigua. Our legs hurt so much after the trek, so it was a much needed rest before a long travel trip to Nicaragua via a short stay in El Tunco in El Salvador. Here we watched a surfing competition, 
soaked in the sun, ate local dish propulsors and relaxed some more before heading to Nicaragua. And that's coming up next. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode.